does he believe that he's really an activist, philanthropist, and a filmmaker, and all these things? I have. I don't know if he believes it or if he knows he's not real, and he's just trying to convince people that it's real. And again, I, I can only speak to my own opinion. Is I don't consider him a filmmaker. I don't believe anybody that rationally looks into his history will see that he's an activist, journalist, or filmmaker. Troubleshooter Joe Pakenak is here. And Joe, some Akron residents living near an EPA Superfund site really have some concerns. That's right. It's a seven-acre site in southwest Akron that's been the subject of an EPA cleanup since 1987. Tons of soil removed because of potentially hazardous chemicals and test wells set up, all at a cost of $11 million. The most recent EPA report issued in 2013 clearly states the cleanup at the site is on schedule, but some Akron residents contacted the Solutions Center because they want the site to be a better neighbor. Matthew Burdick grew up in this neighborhood, producing his own documentary on the site. He wants additional testing here. Burdick says it's important residents stay aware of ongoing cleanups and developments at this site in Akron and Superfund sites across the country. If you placed a hot dog stand on top of all 1,300 toxic waste dumps in residential neighborhoods, EPA Superfund sites, you would immediately have a fast food chain the size of Denny's. 